embracing the digital natives. First of all, the lines between professional and personal lives blurs even further. There is an aspect to always on. We're going to talk about that further in a second. The tools are cheap and they're instantaneous, especially around collaboration, leading from anywhere. You have no idea where these people are playing the games from. And in fact, from a gaming perspective, time zones no longer matter. So you're dang sure that somebody's playing from work. <laughs> <laughs> or waiting for an airplane. Or at home. <coughs> or at the hospital. You have no idea where they are. But their ability to complete a task in the lead is not thwarted by physically where they're existing. They are no longer tied to bricks and mortar. They're a creative and curious bunch. Um, but they need a bridge to the styles that are foreign to others. And lastly, I kind of highlighted it, is we need digital wisdom in our organizations. People and leaders today that can understand and embrace this type of thinking so that the creativity can continue to flow and they're allowed a safe place to fail. Practice, practice, practice. So for you, some, some things I'd like for you to take away. Do your collaboration tools exist? I'm not talking about email. And in fact, email is not a collaboration tool. Most gamers don't read email that's longer than two fingers. Sound familiar to anybody in here? Anybody <laughs> say that? If it's longer than two fingers, you, you missed an opportunity for a conversation. Or you should have texted me. Seriously, the collaboration tools of communication, email is not an efficient manner of communication of, for people who speak in 130 characters or less. Do those policies exist for those tools as we've been discussing this morning with Steve and Dan? But here's an interesting one. Management by walking around. This used to be a strategy. Now it's a tool. Do you have the tools that allow for the opportunity to manage and build relationships say, hey, Dan, what are you working on? I'm interested. How's the family? How's graduation going? You've missed an opportunity if you're sitting in your office. Back when I was the, uh, the leader of a Swedish firm, Something culturally caught me off guard. I was sitting in my very first board meeting, and it's a big long table, and I was the only one that didn't speak Swedish, so they could have said anything. And there was a common theme that would happen among different business leaders, is they would write notes on a piece of paper, they would fold the notes off, and they would pass it to each other. It feeds those, what I'm talking about. They would read the notes, and then they'd respond and hand it back. And this would be in the middle of a meeting. And I thought to myself, how rude. Today, I might be sitting at the end of a meeting table with the head of a product at the other, and I might be texting them or IMing them about the meeting that's happening right before our very eyes, or maybe not. I might be asking them how his kids are doing. But the issue is the difference between public and private channels. In gaming, this is very normal. You might be having a conversation I am instant messaging with a player and talking about a strategy and the public forum can't see your one-on-one -on -one communications. Tools such as Microsoft Link allow this all day long. And this becomes an expected method of communication to move forward with the strategy. In gaming, we can find people instantaneously. The map might be huge. Matter of fact, very huge. But you can find out where all your teammates are, what they're doing, and is it specific to the goal that you've set before your team, your guild? Well, this is what presence computing is evolving to in the business sense. Again, tools such as Microsoft Link and Google's tools that allow you to have the ability to gather all of your people and check in no matter where they are on a plane in a hospital, 
you know they're on a phone in a meeting, but you can talk instantaneously to everybody at a push of a button. This is becoming an expected norm. 